Hi everyone, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Today we're gonna to be talking all about the Motif Luna Breast Pump. Now, Motif just came out with this new version of the Luna. It's exactly the same as the old version, but it has a rechargeable battery. So I'm gonna be using this one for the demonstration today, but if you have the old model, it's exactly the same. I'm gonna show you what it comes with, how to set it up, what it sounds like, and how you can get one through Motif or through your insurance. Okay, so first, let's check out what comes with the pump. So you get the pump, and then you also get a bunch of accessories. There's two bags here. This one comes with 24 millimeter flanges, and then that other one comes with 28 millimeter. I'm only gonna open one, but both of these are exactly the same, except for the flange sizes. So it comes with two phalanges, duck bills already attached, tubing, a backflow protector, and a bottle. So there's only one tube and backflow protector in this bag, but there's another one in the other bag. So you can do double pumping with either one of these flange sizes that you need. They do make other phalange sizes, so if you need a different size, you're welcome to do that. This phalange is not specific to Motif, so you can get these on Amazon. I'll put some links below if you need a different size or if you need some inserts for the inside. Okay, so set up with this pump is really typical to other pumps. You need to make sure you have that duckbill phalange right on the end. Attach the bottle. This is a backflow protector. This is pretty standard for closed system pumps like this Luna. It only goes on one way, so you won't mess that up. If you've taken this apart to clean it, all you need to do is put this white piece on the smaller end and wrap it around. This bigger piece goes over the white piece. And there's your backflow protector. Very simple to use. This pump is capable of double pumping both sides at the same time. I'm just gonna set it up for one, just for convenience in the video. The tubing is the same on both sides as well. So one side goes here and the other side goes here in the front. Since we're only using one today, you do need to make sure that this is closed. Otherwise, if you want to use both, then just plug your other tubing in right there. So it also comes with a wall charger that is dual voltage. We are military and currently live in Europe. So the dual voltage thing was an awesome surprise for me. I've already charged this up. It came with some battery life in it, so it did not take very long at all. And like I said, this is the Luna with the rechargeable battery. It's brand new, so it doesn't need to be plugged in while we use it. This is also a really light pump. So I've got my kitchen scale here, and I'm gonna put that on. This pump is 2.3 pounds. The Luna without the battery is two pounds even. So this is a really light weight pump. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer and show you some of the features of this pump. This is a really standard format for buttons on pumps these days. So first we've got the mode, and the mode is where you can switch between massage mode and expression mode. So massage mode is to help stimulate the letdown by mimicking the baby's nursing pattern. So you can start on the massage mode and then switch over to the expression mode which works to kind of remove the milk a little bit more efficiently. So that's a nice little feature. You can also adjust the cycles, which is the frequency of the suck pattern. And then the levels here is the suction level. So you can start at the, a low suction level and move up to what is comfortable and removes the most milk for you. It also has an LED night light, which is a good feature. So I was playing with it a little bit earlier and this is the setting that I left it on when I shut it off. So it will start on wherever you left off like that. One of the things I like about this display is it actually shows you whether it's in expression or massage mode. So you'll wanna start in massage mode, which is a little bit faster sucking rhythm, if you can hear that. You actually can't adjust the cycle on massage mode, but that's pretty typical for pumps like this. You can, however, adjust the suction level. So I recommend that you start on the lowest level and then go up from there. On massage mode, you're kind of limited to the settings you can have, but that's the purpose of massage mode. It's just trying to stimulate a letdown. So you can go up to a five level suction, and that's a pretty decent suction that I'm hearing here. And then once you feel or see that letdown, you can switch over to expression mode. Again, it switches here, which I really like. It's gonna remember the last setting that you pumped on, so once you kind of figure out where you like it, you won't have to mess with it too much. Here's a medium level suction, 
and the slowest cycle that you can go. So you can hear that that's a really slow pattern. And if that works best for you, then great. You can also increase the cycles. And here's the fastest one you could do. You can hear that that's a little bit quicker. There's some, some other cycles and options in between. You can also adjust the section level up and down. It's the lowest section level. It's very gentle. And this pump actually goes up to a level 12 section, which is quite an intense section. As you can hear, that pump is working a lot harder. I don't anticipate many moms needing this much suction. That's, that's a lot. Somewhere in that medium range is likely where you'll be at. The light has three different power options. And it just comes right out of the back there. This, this is a little handle if you're holding the pump this way to carry it around. A lot of moms will put their pumps on their nightstand and use it just for the nightlight, which is kind of cool. It also has an auto shut off after 30 minutes, which is another nice feature. It says that you should be able to get two hours of runtime on one battery charge. And again, this is a closed system pump, which is great. You'll be seeing more of the Motif Luna in other videos because this is a really solid pump and I'm really excited to try it out with this baby. Lots of moms have been saying how much they love it. It's a common one covered by insurance. So this is a really great workhorse pump. I do like that it is small. So you have the portable little pumps that you can get, but this pump has the max section that I see on a lot of comparison charts. So the max section on this one is about 280 mmHg. The max, for example, on the Spectra is around 270, 260 sometimes I've seen. So this one is gonna give you a a little bit more suction on the high end if you're a mom that needs something like that. That's everything you need to know about the Luna Motif pump and stick around for more videos with this pump. I'll put some links in the description for you. If you like this content, you can also support the channel and help me to get new breast pumps and things to review on my Patreon page and I'll put a link below for that. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.